In part B of this question, we have to find the minimum possible value of L, the lower quartile. We found in the previous question part that the minimum possible value of the upper quartile is 45. To find L, we'll use this equation from section 4.2 of the formula booklet, where IQR is the interquartile range, Q3 is the upper quartile, and Q1 is the lower quartile. Substituting, we get that 20 is equal to 45 minus L. Solving for L, we get that its minimum possible value is 25. Let's see an exam taking tip that you can take away from here. The comment term in this question part is hence. This comment term means that you must use the preceding work to obtain the required result, so make sure that on such questions you use results that you got in previous question parts. Here, for instance, we use the value of u, so 45, that we found in question part a. There is also another similar comment term that you might come across on questions, and this is hence or otherwise. An important difference here is that when the comment term is only hence, you must use an answer from a previous question part in order to earn full marks. On questions that start with hence or otherwise, the word hence suggests that you may use a result from preceding work, however the word otherwise allows for other solutions or methods.